Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Tutu Things. As we know, we started C# tutorials. In this part, we are going to see C# exceptions. So, in any programming language, exceptions are most important, right? Exception handling is a concept which we have to aware of. Like uh, any programming language or any coding concepts will have different kinds of errors. So. Uh, Occurring of error is common in any programming language while we are coding, like coding errors made by programmers or errors due to the wrong inputs or any other errors like unforeseen uh, errors. So unexpected errors, all these are uh, very common in any programming language. So at the time of uh, these kind of errors will generate. Uh, so the normal execution of the program will stop because of these errors. So how to manage those errors, like how to handle those unexpected errors, we have this concept called as exception handling concept. So exceptions, uh, the technical term for this in C sharp will throw an exception, like uh, uh, it will throw an expression, uh, exception, like it will throw an error. If any such a kind of unexpected errors will occur, the execution of the program will stop. So to avoid all these kind of things, we have to go for exception handling, that is using of try and catch. So the try and catch statements will be there. Like if any uh, an expression error will occur, then we can catch the exception. And at the time, what we have to do, we can tell that to the code so that it will not uh, create any unexpected issues. Like it will not stop the application, but it will throw some errors likewise. So at the time of uh, this error will happen, what will what we have to do? Like how we can manage that error can be done by using this try and catch statements. The try statement allows us to define a block of code to be tested for errors, whether it uh, well while it is executed. So you thought like uh, this particular code will can cause an error, like you can expect an error for in that code. So that block of code to be tested uh, or uh, which is prone to errors, we have to place that in the try statement. So whenever it is executed, it will expect uh, we are expecting that this code, block of code may throw an error. So that block of code, we have to place it in the try statement. So next we have this uh, catch statements. So what this a catch statement allows us to define a block of code to be executed if an error occurs in the try block. So if any error be thrown by the try block, so now this catch block will accept that error and it will do a certain operation if any error thrown by a try try statement. So try block of code. So try and catch are the quotes comes in a pair. So whenever you have try block, you, you should have the catch block. It is compulsory to have a catch block if you are having a try block. So these two try and catch keywords comes in a page. So try will be a block of code. The syntax will be like this. So try block of code. Next, we have a catch, which is have an exception, like it will catch that exception and certain block of code to be uh, written there, like to handle that error, how what we are doing, we are telling that error to the user or we are throwing that error or we are displaying error or with that error, we are uh, manipulating anything. So that block of code, we have to handle uh, that we have to write in the catch block. The code which have to be tested, we have to try for errors, we have to write in the try block. So consider the example which we have created an example of three integers. So we have an integer array which is of three elements. One, two, three is there. My numbers is the variable. So what you are doing here? So see, so it will, uh, this will generate an error because uh, you now what you are doing is you are trying to have this 10th element in the my numbers, but that element is not present there. So it is an index out of range exception it will throw because you are trying to access the range which is out of range in, in your array. So in array, we are having only 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2 elements only. So you are trying to access 10th element which is not present in the array. So at that time it will throw an error like index out of range exception. So index was outside of the bound of an array. It is not inside the array of bound. So it will throw an error like this. So if you don't want that error, like what you can do, like how you can manage this kind of attachment, you have to use try and block. How we are uh, going to use that try and catch to manage this error, we are going to see in this video, now in this example. So if an error occurs, we have to use try and catch block to catch the errors and execute some code to handle it. In the example below, you can see we have used the variable inside a catch catch block that is e variable which is an exception type so e is an exception type which is ca uh, catching by this catch method 
together which is built in the message property which is having some message property for this exception variable e inbuilt it will have some message property that will tell you that what type of error it is what type of exception message it is so to print that exception message we can use this console.readline. line we can have this uh, dot message property so that the exception message will be printed in the console so that um, the statements which we are expecting that may throw an error we have to write in the try statement so here we have a try statement we have to open curly braces the block of code which you are having we are expecting some error to be in that so in uh, we have to write an integer array we are ex we are expecting the tenth element but it is not present in that particular array so it will definitely throw an error that error will be catched by this catch block so that error uh, exception will comes in this variable e so the in that variable we have a property like dot message property so by that we can get the message of that error so that it will be printed in the console like here you can see index was outside the bond of array so like that you can try any example by using try and catch so that exception will come here so for example like this we can do or any other exceptions like uh, not only index out of range you can if you try to divide any zero number with the uh, uh normal number like it will not give integer likewise it will give infinity such time not an integer at that time also you can get an exception so if even if you if a, if a news are passing any uh, unexpected value which you are not expecting there to be so at that time so uh, we we they never expect any errors in that particular block it will default to them so it is better practice to write any code in the try block so if any errors comes that will be catched by this exception so that will be printed so that you can manage that error in the next next time or we we can write in a code such that these errors may not come so like this we can use this try and catch block to handle the exceptions you can also use that uh, your own errors not only that a message which you are coming in this exception we are printing here but you can have this own message here the message uh, like this error is occurred not to be specific but you can write any common or custom uh, message errors also you can write here you can see something went wrong like this custom message also you can write instead of writing uh, e dot message you can write normal uh, error error occurred likewise normal text you can write or if it is in particular method name uh, like program main method we have error occurred like if you are going with a big application then we can um, we can also know that in which method we have error like by mentioning the method name there that you can understand this particular method is throwing error likewise so you can have a custom errors also custom text errors and next one more thing which you have to know in this exception handling is finally the finally statement is uh, the statements which uh, the block of code which you want to uh, perform even the error may occur so regardless of try and catch you want some block of code to be executed at every time so at that time you can mention that block of code in that finally block so that it will execute ir irrespective of any try errors or any catch errors so see finally statements lets you to execute the code after try and catch regardless of the re result even try blocks uh, throw throws an error that may be catched by the catch block so this will not uh, related to finally but after executing of try and catch it will definitely come to the finally block so the try and catch is finished so what are the block of code which you want to uh, execute after having the try and catch you can write that in the finally block so that will got printed so now with try is uh, giving an error so it will be catched by the catch block something went wrong will be displayed so after completing of these two things if the even if there is error or not an error it will comes to finally block it will print this kind of thing the try and catch is finished here you can see the outputs the two outputs has came something went wrong and also this try catch is finished so whatever the finally statements which we have written that will be executed after executing try and catch whether there will be error that will be captured even though finally will be it got executed even if there no error will be captured by the catch block then also this finally block will got executed this is all about finally block and one more thing which you have to know while you are dealing with this exception is throw so this throw keyword is a statement which allows you to create a custom error for example like you know that this is a, a index out of bound of range if you have an exception e dot message you will getting that so you can also create your own uh, like uh, your own uh, errors 
so so sorry your own exceptions so what type of exception if you know you can create that so throw statement allows you to create a custom error the throw statement is used to together with an exception class so it will be used with an exception class we have to use this there are many exception classes available in c sharp so we have some classes we have to know about this basic exception classes like arithmetic exception if you are trying uh, to have an arithmetic related uh, errors then it comes under this arithmetic exception so if you are uh, if you are dealing with files like file not found exception if you are trying to uh, retrieve the file which is not present then it will throw this kind of error file not present exception and next uh, index out of range exception as we see in the arrays if you are trying out of the index it will not if you throw in these kind of errors index out of range exception and next time out exception if you are in particular time only if you are exceeding your time limit then it will throw an time out exception likewise this type of basic exceptions which are present in c sharp you have to understand first of this so by using uh, to create these exception classes we have to use this uh, throw statement let's see this example how they are using so that you will understand better now you can see the one method is there like check age which is passing an age value to this uh, method so if age is less than 18 then it will throw an exception like access denied you must be at least 18 years old is an arithmetic exception or else uh, if it is uh, not less than 18 then else condition they have written like access granted you are old enough so you can see you are calling this check age with an age of 15 so what method should be displayed here is you are getting this system arithmetic expression uh, exception you are getting which is of access denied you must be at least 18 years because you are passing 15 which is less than 18 so this uh, type of custom errors we can create by using throw keyword so throw a new exception uh, arithmetic exception you are passing so by that you will get this output likewise you can create your own custom errors by this so if you are passing 20 here then it will not throw any exception so it will uh, just display this output like not only in the case of unexpected kind of errors but you can also create your own errors like arithmetic expression error like uh, own errors you can create if you know that particular uh, condition will throw an error like not possibility for 15 age so check age should be 18 years to uh, which are old enough to be granted access granted like this if you know you can also create custom errors by using this throw keyword so it, it allows to create a custom error like this throw new arithmetic expression you can write the text there so that it will be give output like this so that will throw an error like this so this is all about throw a statement uh, so i hope you have understood about exception like how to uh, write try and catch blocks and how to write finally block what will happen in the finally block when this finally block will got executed uh, every time finally block got executed even if there is exception or not an exception so this is a use of finally and next um, throw we have seen like custom errors we can create by using throw not only displaying the exception which you are getting through this exception message but you can also write your customized messages also based upon method and uh, which class we are using if you are having a big application you can make this error specific to that particular application likewise method likewise so this is all about exception in c sharp hope you have understood this uh, concept uh, very clearly we have explained everything in detail hope you have understood if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and share this video to your friends and colleagues who are at learning stage of web development concept or maybe c sharp concept or maybe oops concept you can share this video this videos will definitely help them to understand things better and subscribe to ch my channel for many more videos like this hope you have uh, go through all the playlist uh, of all the videos which is present in the c sharp playlist we have explained so many topics before to this video we have explained all the things everything in detail with an examples and with the practical examples also through this w3 schools website it's a very cool website where we can we can uh, learn all the web development concept at this particular place itself also you can try with examples where you are going through this document so this is very wonderful website you can make use of it to learn the concepts from the basics level oh that's all for this video thanks for watching like share comment and subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this bye bye